What up? We back, man. Y'all know what it is. This is where I just talk about random stuff that's going on, man. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. Share for your boy. So first, we're going to talk about Kwame Brown. Bro, Kwame Brown is not who I thought he was, bro. They didn't make Kwame look like a big goof troop, dude. Like big, uh, you can pick on me. I'm not going to say nothing. I tried my best in the NBA. This is a nigga. <laughs> Kwame is the nigga, bro. That man, I don't know how he got this far without this Kwame coming out, man. This is not just something that happens overnight, this type of Kwame. Kwame had to be this type of dude since the beginning, man. And they tried. That's what happens when you keep poking the bear. They're going to attack, man. And he deserves to go off on anybody that got a problem, man. They've been going at Kwame since forever, bro, since I can remember. He was always a joke. Now he coming back, boy. And man, you can't do, you can't even say nothing when Kwame re responds back, and he's finally defending himself. Cause it'd be bullying then. <laughs> it's been bullying, kind of like bullying. Just keep it hunting. It's been like bullying. Um, you're always talking about him. Everything Kwame was saying, I agree with. As far as like, you know, y'all want to talk about me? Uh, y'all preaching about non bull, don't bully. But you talking about a person that ain't. Mentioned ain't even said your name, man. And he and of course he ain't said your name because I didn't know Kwame talked like this. So I know I didn't miss out on Kwame responding to the haters. <laughs> but I love it, man. I love it. He said Becky with the good hair. Uh who else he said? Uh he said uh Gilbert, he on my good side now. He ain't the whitest person no more. He's talking real savage, bro. He 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 got Gilbert back. Gilbert's, you know, like I don't want no smoke. So he accept Gilbert's uh, apology, but he's still talking slick at Gil, bro. Like, yeah, bro, that boy bowed down. That's some savage. That's savage. I'm with all that, bro. That's funny, bro. Come on now. He got uh, Stephen A. Don't want to respond. Nobody can really respond because, I mean, it's what you asked for, man. You've been talking trash on a person for years. For years. And, I mean, you can't say, you can't say nothing if you decide to speak up. You can't win that battle. You just got to sit there and take it like Kwame was taking it all them years. He going in, bro. He said, y'all name some of the smoke. From now on, y'all's name is some of the smoke. It's supposed to be called all the smoke. <laughs> that boy savage, man. I agree with him. Hey, you going to talk trash, you got to uh, you gotta be able to take it. And uh, he's going in on him, bro. He's going in. Every day is a video of Kwame talking. I don't know what's going on. And he's sitting in the truck. And that'll get me nervous. Like, where you headed to, Kwame? Where you headed to, man? He's like one of them people that's one of them. I'm about to pull up at your job type of nigga, bro. <laughs> he already in the car. Like, say something. I wish you would. I'll, I'll turn this motherfucker around so quick. That's how the nigga look. That's the type of Kwame he look like, bro. I didn't know that Kwame is like that. That shows how people can paint a picture of a person. And you'll just go with it unless you go find out for yourself. I thought he was like some little punk kid that ain't gonna speak for himself. That just he just knew he was trash. And he ain't gonna say nothing. He just he just happy he made it to the NBA. No, nah, this nigga talking crazy, bro. He said, "What's up, Becky with the with the uh good hair? Your wife choosy, nigga." He talking about Derek Fisher taking uh Matt Barnes' wife. Which is true, man. You can't get on nothing talking trash when a nigga took your wife and your truck, taking your kids to school in the truck. Come on now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Then Steven Jackson supposed to be this big old gangster, man. Every time I see Steven Jackson talking trash, then Kwame get on him. Man, he's, he's back to being religious. That's crazy. That man on everybody, bro. He on everybody, even the Janelle something said something. She's quoting some uh, Game of Thrones thing. He's like, mind your business, partner. You don't want these problems on the gang. He didn't say that, but he might as well said that, bro. I like that, man. Kwame stepping up. That's what happens, man. Y'all need to go uh, get in one of them celebrity boxes. Oh, uh, I see Matt Barnes talking about now he he with all the smoke. If he with, he with shits, he want to fight now if you want to do that. Man, I don't know. His voice is kind of shaky. But you can't judge it by a shaky voice. Because I know my voice used to be like kind of shaky when something's about to go down. That's because I'm so angry and it's built up. I'll be angry. Oh, you just want to pop off. So, But I don't know, man. 
we gonna see. I think it's all talk. Kwame turned down the uh, all the smoke um, interview or something like that they're supposed to do because you know Kwame's like they ain't even calling me to do an interview. They don't want no problems with me. How you gonna talk trash to me? You don't even call me. Then Matt Barnes, you know, he had to say we'll interview next month. Come on now, you know this shit be died down next month. They'll be in there shaking hands and taking pictures talking about uh uh b brothers uniting as one. You know what I'm saying? Next month, come on now. I would have been like, bro, you come out today. We can film today. Why you can't film today? You y'all the number one podcast, y'all got some money, y'all can fly somebody out there. Why me in the truck? You know, get him to Addy. I bet he's sure he'll drive up there. He's always in the truck. He might as well be going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? With the hookah, like you said. But yeah, man, I love that. I love that, bro. I want to see how it turn out, man. Uh, another thing. So we talk about basketball. We talk about LeBron and uh, Steph Curry. Y'all see the game the other day? Woo! That was the first game where it felt like the NBA was back. All these other games, I wasn't feeling it, man. I was like, man, the NBA is trash this year. I was watching nothing, man. It looked like I was watching some damn high school games whenever I cut the game on, man. Somebody in the damn community center or something. But now it felt like the NBA is back, man. Steph Curry is a problem. That man hitting circus shots. Turn around, blah, blah. You can't leave that man open for half a second, bro, or give him an inch, give him an inch of space. He's gonna drain the shot, pause, all that pause, all of that pause. Yeah, man, but that was dope. But LeBron, man, LeBron did his thing, man. I just had a problem with, he, he, just, he tried to make it one of them damn 30 for 30 stories, man. I saw three reels. I aimed for the middle. Come on, man. Just when I was coming back to LeBron, man, I was, oh my God. He was rubbing the shit out of his eye, too, to make it little. Me and the wife was looking like, man, look, he getting his eye ready for the interview. We was like, he getting his eye ready for the interview. Check it out. He's rubbing his eye, bro. He's getting smaller and smaller. Then he did the little, uh, he was squinting. I was like, no, LeBron, you did good, man. You did your job, man. You drained the three. Just take that, man. He's like, fuck that. I'm going for the Grammy, nigga. I'm going for the whole thing. And my eye couldn't see, damn it. He's like, I couldn't see nothing. I couldn't see. I saw 10 rims. I, I, I just threw the ball up there, went up there. Yeah, man. So, uh, I think LeBron should have kept that part out. But they was hooping, bro. LeBron is a problem, man. Y'all can't deny it. Uh, I seen it. I'm a hater because he left. You know, he went to the Lakers. But I'm not going to front. Like, I didn't see that man out there hooping. Steph Curry at Hooper. Um, I'm love I'm loving the fact that um, they can both show each other love. Now, at first, you know, they was... They had to hate each other. That's what the media do. It make you hate each other, man. All that trash talking back and forth. Then you got the uh, audience there. Man, I think they know they both getting old. They're like, man, respect the game, man. You a hooper, bro. Now they dapping up. And LeBron, that's the MVP right there. I, that might have been an excuse just in case he lost. We lost to the MVP right there. Ain't no telling. But uh, all the love, I'm feeling that, man, in the NBA, man. But, um... Yeah, I think this is gonna good. This is gonna be a good playoffs, man. Uh, I don't know if Lakers going all the way, cause they they kind of look shaky out there, man. AD, uh, he was decent. He was decent, but I'm I don't know. I'm thinking the Knicks. The Knicks. Now nah, I'm, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Nets. Br the Brooklyn Nets, man. We're going with the Brooklyn Nets. That's what I'm going in all the way, man. You got KD, you got uh, you got James Harden. And you got Kyrie. Only way they'll lose is if Kyrie wants the damn ball and wants to be the one that wins it all. You know how that go, man. You know, Kyrie want niggas to need him. So he might do all that dribbling, throw up something, man. He might all that throw off the rhythm, man, of a shot and all that. You got shooters around you. But they doing their thing, man. We're going to see with that. Another thing. Okay, next topic. The stock market. Bitcoin. All the coins. All the cryptocurrency, man. Did y'all sell y'all stock? Did y'all sell y'all crypto? I hope not, man. This is this is normal, y'all. A dip is normal, especially this month. It's normal. I'm down. If it if it if it helps you, I'm down fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, I'm down fifteen thousand dollars, and I ain't tripping. Cause I know I know the dips. They always come, even especially in crypto. The dips are big, like 80 percent dips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> big dips. So uh, I didn't panic sell. It's called panic selling. 
If you sold, man, that means you took an L. If you haven't sold, that means you ain't took an L yet, man. It, it usually goes back up. You can at least get your money back, or you probably get more, depending on how long you can hold out. That's why they say don't use money that you're not willing to lose or you don't need right now. Like, the money I put in there, I didn't, you know, it was would have been sitting in the bank or something. So, I would rather just let it sit there and gain some money. So, yeah, man, the stock, man, don't panic sell. If you did, uh, you just got to do your research, man, on what you're buying. That's why I be telling you I do your research. That's why I don't like to, you know, give out, like, stuff you should buy and, and tips on what to buy and stuff like that. Because some people, they, they don't give a damn. They won't do no research. Like, you say, buy it. It's, it's a go. All system go. We buying it. And they don't know what's happening. Then something like this happened. Like, while the crypto went all the way down, then people are like, oh, I'm poor. I'm poor. I can't do this no more. And you sell it, try to get your money, and then you lost all your money because you panic sell. You do your research, man. You know, like, this time, this month, this time of the year, everything sells off. Everything's getting low. And right now, it was actually everything's on sale, sale, man. Even shit, Tesla's at like 580. I bought in at 740. So I'm really, you know, I bought in kind of high. But I've been flipping it forever, so I knew what I was doing when I flipped in there. So, yeah, man, just do your research, but you don't have to panic sell. Unless you bought super duper high, um, that, that still don't mean the panic sell. You just buy the dips. They say buy the dips, but they keep dipping. Hey, man, you got to do your research. You got to know what's support and resistance and what's a pullback. And a, you know what I'm saying? You got to know all that. So you look that up, see what's the best price. Everything's crackhead price right now everything's crackhead price so you really can't you know like say say it went down twenty dollars or you think it's support support is where you think it's the lowest right here is bouncing off support if you think it's the lowest then you put in like half of what you would have put just in case like say you was gonna put a thousand dollars okay i'm trying to get in lowest i'm gonna put in a thousand right here just put in 500 all right then if it do drop again if it do drop down lower than that, you put in the other 500 when you think it's a good time. Or, you know, or if it don't even go lower than what you bought it and you're like, damn, I want to spend a thousand. I should have put a thousand on it. That's when you're going to make, you're going to go chasing. You're going to buy high again. So just wait for it to um, pull back down to where you bought it the first time. Because that's probably, uh, that's probably the new support line right there. Meaning it ain't gonna go lower than that for a while. You know, it's, you can't predict anything. So, I'm arguing. so you, then you buy it right there again. But don't go chasing it. Cause if, if it bounces off where you bought it and goes higher, it doesn't go lower. You just wait till it go back that way, man. Like I said, uh, a lot of stuff drop. Especially cryptocurrency, man. People usually just put their money there and sit there. That's how people got rich off cryptocurrency. They'll put it there like when it's super cheap. They will come back in a year or two. And then, I mean, if you're trying to get rich quick, you probably have to do something else. There's ways, you know, but you just got to be lucky to catch one. But if you do your research, you'll know what you're looking for. So enough with that, man. Yeah, so panic selling, you know, nah, don't do that, bruh. But last thing I'm going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about my live stream. Since y'all keep bringing it up every time uh, with the nitty situation. Now, now y'all know nitty, uh, he called me and apologized. We spoke about it, man. It's nothing right now. It's just, but I just want to let y'all know, man. It was, I'm not Joe Button 85. What the hell y'all called me? They called me Joe Button 85. And in that situation, I think it was a money situation. This ain't got nothing to do with money or none of that, man. It was just the fact. Uh, I'm going to break it down. Need if you listen to it, I'm just breaking it down since it got brought up live. So I'm going to explain it. Because I don't do the live stuff, explaining and uh, arguing in front of uh, the. The, my my uh, subscribers and stuff like that. It, but it came out. Um, so basically, the nitty was on live on his stuff. Uh, I wouldn't know. I wasn't on live, but he was on Twitch, and he was just saying like, "Yeah, man, I get more chickens with other people." Um, then he was like, "Yeah, man, somebody that was watching my stream said these ain't the ones to play with." Talking about SGU nicks. They uh. They don't communicate. They ain't the ones. You know, he was just saying that on the stream. Like, uh, all that running up goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? He said that on the stream. I wasn't on the stream. Somebody else was on the stream. 
And then um, when I heard about it, when I came the same day I got on the game, then somebody told me, like, yeah, he was talking kind of reckless on the stream. I thought he was joking, but Nitty was in the party. I jumped in the party. Nitty was in the party. He wasn't saying nothing. So I'm like, oh, this must be true, because this nigga ain't saying nothing to defend himself about these, uh, uh, th this man accusing him of that. So he didn't say that, and then after about five minutes, he was like, yo, I got these bullets right here, calling out bullets on, um, on, uh, what that, PUBG. So I'm like, Nitty, I ain't gonna fake with you. I don't do a lot of faking. So I'm like, I'm not gonna fake with you, Nitty. Heard you talk shit. Um, I really don't wanna talk to you right now. So I'm not even gonna, I ain't gonna fake with you, bro. I don't need nothing. So he's like, all right, all right, that's cool, let's go. So that was it. The next day, I'm about to record a video for y'all. So I'm like, you know what, let me go check out this stream. So I went on there, checked out the stream. I couldn't find when Nitty was talking shit. So I was like, man, it ain't no big deal. As soon as I was about to get off, I, I found it. So I listened to it myself. And I was like, damn, this nigga kind of, you know, kind of is, it was just, it was, it's the fact that he was saying all that on a live. It was only three people in there, but he's saying that on a live. And I don't, I don't like, y'all see me when I put all the links and I shout niggas out. And like stuff I don't need to do, that stuff that that can be easily charged for money, you know what I'm saying? But I don't charge for anything, basically. Like a lot of stuff, I info and stuff I give away, I don't charge. Like in real life too, I don't charge. Like I give, I give shoes away, I give some money away, I give clothes away, all that. Anybody know they be coming to houses? They I be giving stuff away. <laughs> but yeah, so. I'm like, damn, he's just talking like, like niggas ain't trying to help him. Like, like this is just a video game to me, you know. I know SGU, but this is just a video game at the end of the day. So I, I hadn't talked to him since I heard that. Well, I didn't even talk to him the day I heard it. So it was the next two days, I think. That's when the live was. The live is deleted. If y'all looking for it, it's deleted. Which I do, that's what I'm supposed to do. It's deleted. And the first time I'd seen him was there, but we was at a we was in a party for like 30 minutes before that. And then he came in the party. I guess he said what's up. I didn't hear him. He said he said what's up. I was shooting some shit. So um, so I guess he had a problem right then, cause nobody said nothing. Then I say I'm going live. My nigga Gutter getting on. Gutter wasn't on yet. I said Gutter getting on. And then Gutter gets in the party, so I set up my stuff to go live. So I guess I backed out the game. Because, you know, it was only three of us. Then Nitty came in. He was in there for about 30 minutes. We played the game. I backed out the game. Uh, Nitty had popped in the game. I backed out. Because I'm setting up. You know what I'm saying? And these niggas already knew I was going live. You know, Nitty didn't know I was going live. But uh, Gutter and Juco knew I was going live. And I told Shaq because I was in there with Shaq to begin with. So, you know, he said, we acting funny. So then I start to live after about 30 minutes of chilling in the party. Then, you know, then he starts mumbling stuff. I just heard him mumbling stuff, man. I'm not going to ignore it. Like, I hear you mumbling stuff. He's like, okay, niggas act funny. I thought he said niggas act funny. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to just let it ride, you know, because uh, he's. I, I didn't want to kick him out. He's not in the game, but I hear him talking. And then uh, he sent me a donation, a $5 donation. And you know it pops up big on the screen. It said for niggas that's acting funny. That's what that's where it set off. And that's why if you hear me, I'm like, what you talking about, Nitty? You got something to say? You need to get something out of your chest. That's what I'm saying. Cause I'm not gonna fake it like I don't see what the fuck popped up on the you know, I'm not I, one thing I do is not I'm not gonna fake like I'm okay, everything good. Yeah, we gonna No, it felt like it was brought up for attention, so I gave it attention. Um, since it was niggas that was actually in the party. Now, if it was like in the, in the comment section and the niggas like, okay, I can ignore this nigga. But it was somebody that's actually in the party. So I just told him, man, like, I just, you know, like, nigga, you said some shit. And I don't respect it. And, and you, uh, we could talk about this later. He didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to talk about it later. He just kept mumbling in the party. Kept, kept yeah, okay, niggas act funny. Niggas act funny. 
And um, I basically I told him, man, nigga, you you talking shit on a crew that's just chilling in this motherfucker, and um, you talking shit on a different stream after you know I'll be shouting your shit out. Uh, to all these people, the 400 people or 500 people, whoever's watching, and then then you talk shit on your shit that I shouted out. How that look? How that made me look, nigga? I'm not acting funny. I'm clearly just not even fucking paying you attention. I'm not acting funny, nigga. I'm being me. And so the nigga, you know what? I I can't say. Um, he said I can't say we we can get chicken dinners if we communicate better. I'm like that ain't the problem, nigga. It's what you. It's you saying it on live and talking shit and saying like, uh, this, this, I heard this crew ain't for me. Like, why? What are you? What's the point of you saying that? And the niggas that's in his chat know me because I see my name in the motherfucking chat. The three niggas that's in there. So I'm like, it's not like, like these niggas came for me, bro. So I'm not Joe Button eighty five. And you, you niggas, look, my boys, they ain't gotta anybody I help. You don't have to tell me thank you. You don't have to shout me out. You ain't got to do nothing, bro, but don't talk shit. I tell them, now, I tell niggas that all the time, bro. You ain't got to thank me. You good. Because that's my job, bro. Like, if I'm around niggas, I'm trying to put the niggas on that I'm around. And you posted, and I told him when he called me, like, bro, you if you feel like you get chickens and you saying that you get more views, getting your chicken dinners and your bits from, um, he said he get bits, more bits. When he uh, uh, his bits go up, when he's on Twitch, when he's winning, I'm like, bro, go do that, man. This is just a game. This I know it's SDU, but this is a game, bro. If that's what you want to do, you go, you go chase your dreams, bro. I was like, you get on and you put your niggas on, man. If you got niggas that's, um, uh, you get chickens with that you're talking about this group of niggas, go put them on, man. You could do all that. that's what you supposed to do. You supposed to, you supposed to uh, branch out and put your niggas on. I don't care about that. You put your niggas on, but just don't talk shit. That's what the argument was. Like, bro, don't speak foul, any type of foulness, when ain't nobody even talking shit on you or mention you at all about no shit like that. That's all that argument was, man. So I just had to address it, and it was live, but he apologized. He said he understood it. Um, I'm with it. I accept the apology. I mean, some things you won't forget. I accept the apology, though. But, um, you know me, y'all. I'll be looking at it from different directions. I peep stuff early. I don't really like to let it sit. And um, then it gets worse. So, you know, that's all that was, man. Though. So, I just, you don't have to tell me thanks. If I gave you some advice or something, you ain't got to, you know, you ain't like, if you make it big, you ain't got to shout me out on the interview or nothing. You ain't got to do none of that, bro. Just don't talk shit. That's my thing. Just don't talk shit, man. And if you got, you know, you got homies, you got you some homies that you want to put on, that's where you go do it. You branch off and put your homies on. That's what you're supposed to do. When you're in certain positions, you can put your homies on, if they willing, then then they branch off. You know what I'm saying? They ain't supposed to sit there and, you know, and then hopefully think you uh, hold their hand through the whole situation and nothing like that. That's what you do. You branch off. So I'm, that's what I'm saying. If you got niggas that you get chickens with, if you if it's that important to you to get some chickens, I don't give a damn. I told him I, I got put on by being funny and doing voiceovers. I don't really give a damn about no chicken dinners. We I come to my live streams, I'm chilling. I press I press live stream on the button. I'm still gonna be chilling the way I was before I got on the live stream. Uh, I got I got a, a a bunch of chicken dinners, bro. A bunch. And I don't, I don't care about chicken dinners no more. I like running up, shooting, being stupid. But we well, sometimes we get chickens, but that ain't going to be the focus. If we really gave a damn about chickens, Juco wouldn't be in the squad. <laughs> my nigga Juco ain't going nowhere, bro. That's my boy, man. So, uh, yeah, but that was all that was about, man. So I just addressed it on the stream. Um, that's it, man. It's just all about respect and, you know, and you ain't got to... You ain't gotta, I ain't saying, oh, kiss my ass, I'll get you. No, you ain't gotta do none of that, bro. Just don't talk shit. You ain't gotta do none of that. You get whatever you can out of this, I guess, but don't talk shit. But that was the end, man. I ain't gonna talk your head off, man. Y'all see me out here chopping shit down. Uh, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. Share for your boy. Y'all got any other topics, y'all let me know, man. Um, 
that's that's basically it, man. We ain't we we keeping it positive. I'm gonna keep it positive from now. On. I'll be trying to keep it positive. Yeah, the, that whole situation blew up because because it was on live when I was kept trying to not make it go on live, man. You know, it makes me think you cloud chasing. If you tried me on live when I was sitting there for 30 minutes, not I mean with you, and none of this was brought up, man. So I just didn't like that. So, but that was it, man. But he apologized. It is what it is, man. So, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you got any other uh, subjects, man, let me know down in the comment section. I'll, I'll talk about it. If y'all, uh, I want to do a video where y'all, because some of y'all keep asking me some advice for a YouTube channel and what equipment I use. I'm going to break it down in one video. If y'all want that, um, if y'all want that, hit the thumbs up. Or somebody in the comment section say uh, say they want that and y'all thumbs that up. Whichever one got the most thumbs up. <laughs> How are y'all doing, man? But I'm out of here. I right, holla.